Good morning, everybody. It's a wintry February morning here on Woolly Beginnings. This is Treeline Farms with Chris, and I'm your gracious host, Chris. And we do have some snow on the ground. We're calling for more snow. But more importantly, we have new arrivals on the farm. And we're going to walk over here and have a look at them. We got more sheep, 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 sheep. So we now have 52 <clears throat> sheep in our large barn. And we have, we, we had bought some more out of here. So we now have, in this barn, we now have, I believe it is, yeah, six. So what we're going to do is we're going to start moving sheep into our third barn here and in order to do that we're going to get the tractor the case tractor and we're going to head on down to the to the uh clever motors and we're going to uh we're gonna buy something that we can move sheep around with and I was going to, uh, you know, plow all this up, but I don't think I'm going to. Really no need to. We have tractors to get around in a four-wheel drive truck. So I'm not really worried about it. If the snow piles up a little more, then we will go ahead and, and uh, plow this. But for right now, I don't think it's anything to worry about. So since I've been gone, when I left, when I left you last, it was in November or late October, early November, and things just weren't going, progressing that quickly on the farm, so we decided that we would, you know, take a break, uh, and just, uh, you know, continue on with the farm work, and then as things progress, and, and uh, you know, we get more animals, uh, we would come back in, so this is probably how it's going to be, we'll do some stuff and then instead of having a day in day out you know this is what we're doing because uh you know we'll we'll just come back in when we make significant progress um so and today since we doubled the number of sheep that we had uh that constitutes is is uh progress so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and and uh, move these like I said continue on probably on a monthly or bi-monthly basis it looks like we're starting to get more snow here and we're down here at Clever Motors it's a nice cold day crisp morning uh, to be working out outside so here we are Clever Motors I'm going to pull into the parking lot We'll take our usual parking space over here. And let's go in here and see what we can find for moving sheep around. Now, I don't think we're going to need... I don't think we're going to need anything significant. Because, I mean, you know... We're only moving them from one place to another, so it's not going to be that hard. Let's see. Well, there's one thing I'm looking for in particular, and I don't know where it is. Uh, let's see. This is what I want right here. Yeah. Customize. What color should we make it? I think we should leave, eh, let's go with original yellow. I like, oh, I changed the color anyway. 
Let's go back to original yellow. And we'll buy that. It's nice and cheap. 1500 bucks. And apparently they decided to deliver that to the store or to my farm for me so that's just as well I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll get back to you when we get up to the farm and here we are coming back at, down the farm lane and uh, <clears throat> a couple of things we're going to need to do today was we're going to need to move these sheep and then we're also going to uh need to start feed or to, not to start but we need to feed them again today and we need to get some feed down into that new barn that we're going to be putting sheep in so we're going to move our first couple of down here And there they are. We're starting to get some good wool production out of our uh, out of our uh, big sheep pen. So that's always good. Let's move three more. And then we'll get the uh, get the hay wagon, and uh, we'll get the hay wagon and and get these guys fed. And then we're gonna move our sheep, our uh, sorry, our sheep bales, <laughs> our sheep bales. We're gonna move our wool bales into the storage area. And that will do it for today. Uh, so. Move to trailer. Yep. Okay. All right, let's see here. Let me back one up and we'll lower these little fellas down. Unfold that, and we should be. There it is. Able to move them. All right. I am going to move the rest of these. And, uh,. I'll bring you back, and we'll do one more load together, why not? It is snowy up now, so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. We may need to actually come in here with a plow to pit. And we're doing uh, just one video per month now, an in in-game month, I should say. And the students have been helping me out here on the farm. Uh, 
And they took a little break in November to uh, to go home to their families and stuff. So, you know. But they've been cracking right along. There isn't much for them to do, you know, in the winter time, other than come and feed animals. So they do come by and uh, and feed animals and and do the shearing when it's ready. So I'm going to uh, continue doing this, and when we get the majority of them moved, I will uh, be back with you. Okay, so we have 15 in here. We're going to get one more load. That'll be 18 in the new pen of, uh, of 18 lambs in the new pen. And we uh, still have, and then we'll look at the number here in just a second. So we'll have uh, 34 in the, in this in this barn, and hey, the snow melted. That was nice. We have 34 in this barn in the big barn. I believe we have eight in the other barn this will have to look and then in this barn here we'll have eighteen all right we're gonna need another shed I think or another barn or building you know garage building but we'll have to wait on that Let's just set this down. We'll just back this in here for now. And oh, also we returned the uh, the New Holland because it just wasn't it wasn't working out for what we needed, and uh, you know I wanted to make sure that. You know, it was it just was slow. It was it was underpowered for what we're doing around here. And uh, I talked to the school. They agreed that yeah, that you know, it just wasn't meeting what we needed to do. You know, I think the students were complaining about it. So we just decided that it would be best if we uh, if we just returned that. Uh, Clever Motors come up, got it, took it away for us. So you know they. I was very appreciative to them for allowing us to, you know, to have it uh, while we, while, you know, when we did. So we fed our new sheep in there. We need to go get some, or topped off the food in the hay, sorry, the hay in the uh, big barn. And now we're going to fill up here. And we'll go over here to the next barn. And these guys may already have a full... Their feet may be full already, their hay, but we'll see. And just need to pull forward a little. There we go. Yeah, they took very little. And uh, we'll pull up here and Feed these guys, these little fellas, little girls and boys. And we'll check to make sure their water's good. 
and uh, looks like it is. I'll fill up here. Look at them all out there. <laughs> and uh, we'll just leave this hay in here like we did the last time. That'll be fine. Now, I saw an old, uh, I saw a uh, couple of older buildings that I think we can take down and possibly move up here on the back of a semi. I may be doing that. It'll save me in, uh, it'll save me in, in, uh, and buying new buildings but we'll have to see you know again you know with this working with the school and and the students you know they kind of have requirements that that the equipment and buildings be you know safe and all that stuff so we'll have to wait and see uh, you know but you know there's possibly that option of you know expanding the farm uh, by using older buildings that we take down on on uh, on farms around the area so let's uh, let's get this out of the way we'll park this over here for now and I think we're gonna finish off the day And I don't believe that I've demonstrated this thing working. Maybe I did. But this is our electric telehandler. And it works pretty well. I like it. I, I like this thing a lot. It's uh, really helped us out. Here on the farm moving lime and seed and, and fertilizer. We get these pallet forks attached. And I mean, it's not setting the world on fire. It doesn't go extremely fast. But this is one of those, one of those tractors, or one of these, one of those pieces of equipment that, you know, we really don't need it to go that fast. We're only going, you know, at the farthest distance here. Now, <clears throat> When I when I had these built, I tried. I told them I didn't want, or I wanted as little, as least amount of trees cut down as possible. Which they did, they did so, and and but I'm still wor I'm worried now that that tree or right there that we're actually rubbing the tire up against is going to be in the way. I'm really worried that that's going to be the case. Well, let's get the outside view here. And we're just going to move these uh, full pallets of bales right into here, into the storage area to get them out of the weather. We'll get the drone back a little bit. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And it's nice that the leaves are off of the trees uh, now, so you can see me actually loading these things. We'll go back inside for the inside camera. And uh, we'll just stack these on top of one another here. I 
I'm pretty happy with this with this piece of equipment. I really am. It works really well. So let's hop out here. So we got one more to go here. We're at 575 kilograms. And uh, let's uh, let's go over here and look in at our what we got going on as far as as our animals are concerned. Let's see, which ones do we have here? This is the... Okay, so we have, uh, what is that, 30... Uh, 34 in the large barn, and then in the two smaller barns, we have uh, 6 and 1. So we'll, the next time we get some more sheep, The next time we get some more sheep, we'll move them into the second barn there with, where there's only eight, uh, six. So we have, yeah, these guys are all looking pretty good. And our sheeping business is moving along rather well. Looks like we have more snow on the way. Anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, coming along with me. This is Treeline Farms with Chris, and I'm your gracious host, Chris. We're going to go ahead and put our machines away here for this month, or for tonight. Uh, it's, uh, you know, 3.30 in the afternoon. I might run on down the Reds and see what's going on. Uh I'll make sure that we take the tension off the hydraulics there. Shut that off so the battery doesn't die. Let's go get our rigid tra tractor. Which I'm really starting to grow fond of this little tractor. I really am. It's uh, it's doing a wonderful job for us. Still, a, you know, especially doing, you know, feeding and things like that. Now that we have, you know... The ability to, uh, or, you know, now that we have a lot more sheep that we need to feed on a, on a regular, on a, you know, continuing basis, I should say. Uh, you know, it's really starting to pan out well for that. We do have the big case that, that we have parked over here in the, in the, uh, in this building. You know, this, without this tractor, we just, we wouldn't be able to get anything done. Uh, you know, this is the workhorse, really, it is. It's the, it's the one that we go to when we need all the heavy lifting, so to speak, done. So, let's get this in the shed here. I'm going to drive on, we'll get in the pickup. Make sure everything's closed up here. Actually, let's go down to Mi family, Familia, and uh, we'll have dinner down there tonight, I think. just take you guys along with me for the ride we can look at the at the uh, leafless trees together we can talk a little bit about our fields we got all the fields growing again we still have a whole lot of hay I think first cutting this year oh boy I think first cutting this year we're gonna do silage 
fails. Uh, here we are at Mi Familia. Uh, we're going to slip in here and get something to eat. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Treeline Farms with Chris. I'm your gracious host, Chris. And until next time, I'll see you again.